whatever comes under adjustment every time it comes under other head items only this will not come under disallowed remember even though that 3000 belongs to family planning will not come under disallowed add all the item minus all the item you are done with your business income once you done with your business income you are supposed to go for what yes you are supposed to go for total income A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Arun sir here, lecturing with us from Facilitate College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing your session seven, Income Tax Two of Assessment of Company. So we are doing the last problem on this particular topic, and this will be your examination problem. So we'll work out the problem together. So you are supposed to keep a book, pen, as well as calculator. Your problem number nine from the profit and loss account of Mandia Sugar for the year ended two thousand nineteen and twenty. Now these are the informations we have. Remember what are the disallowed items? Again, I'll repeat which are disallowed. Now disallowed items it is nothing but like if you have anything like provisions take, reserves take, donations take. Personal expenses take luxury tax, income tax, property tax, municipal tax take any donations yes, personal expense yes, along with that underwriting commission yes, eighty percent you are supposed to take and any general expenses used for personal use then also you are supposed to take. Hope you got it. Yes, these are called as disallowed item in this. Cost of goods sold? No. Whatever list they have given, remember that. Cost of goods sold? No. Salary? No. We'll go to adjustment. We'll come back. In the adjustment, we have adjustment on bad debts, depreciation as per income tax, contribution to recognized provident fund. This is your investment. General expenses include three thousand spent on promoting. Family planning. So this will not come under disallowed. Remember, even though that three thousand belongs to family planning, will not come under disallowed. It is a part of your business only. Compute taxable income of company. So in this, we'll go back. Cost of goods sold will not come. Salary will not come. General expenditure, even though family planning expenses are included, we are not supposed to consider. Commission no interest on loan. We have to assume that taken for business purpose. Director fees no RBD yes. Income tax yes. Depreciation yes. Why yes? Why yes means you have adjustment. Hope you are clear. Why it is yes? You have adjustment. And after depreciation we have wealth tax. So wealth tax is what ten thousand. Wealth tax is ten thousand. Now, so wealth tax also take proposed dividend take penalty and fines penalty and fines also you are supposed to take. Hope you got general reserve. Yes, take because we have word called reserve. Then donation to NDF take subscription sugar part of your business because you are running sugar industry. Whatever subscription paid. Business related, Chamber of Commerce subscription part of your business, custom your part of your business, municipal tax yes, municipal tax whatever you pay you are supposed to take. Hope you are clear. Yes, these are the things we are supposed to consider as disallowed item. Now, what are the other head income will go? Where you will get credit side? Now. In this sale of sugar, part of your business transfer fees also part. Then rent from agricultural land, yes. Premium on issue of shares, yes. Interest on bank deposit, yes. Capital gain on sale of investment, yes. Rent from building let out, yes. All these things comes under other source item. Then do we have anything? Nothing. This much only you are supposed to. Do start your problem with net profit. Add all the item 
minus all the item. You are done with your business income. So business income. So how do you calculate? So you are supposed to calculate like particular. So here amount and amount. Here your previous year and assessment year you are supposed to write. Now in this what you are supposed to do? First one net profit. Net profit. What is your net profit in this? Your net profit is 2,80,000 is your net profit. 2,80,000 is your net profit. Add disallowed item. Disallowed others you can call it as inadmissible expenses. We can also call it as what? Inadmissible expenses. Now add one by one. So first one your RBD income tax depreciation will go one by one. RBD is 10,000. RBD. So this has to be in the outer column. So RBD is how much? 10,000. Next. After RBD, what is the next one? So we have income tax 24,000. Income tax 24,000. So we have depreciation 42,000. Depreciation 42,000. After that, we have wealth tax 10,000. Wealth tax 10,000. After wealth tax, we have proposed dividend 1 lakh. Proposed dividend 1 lakh. Then after proposed dividend, we have penalty and fines, 5,500. Penalty and fines, 5,500. After that, we have general reserve of 55,000. General reserve, 55,000. Hope I am writing all the amounts here. Yes. Next. After that, do we have, yes, donation to NDF, 5,000, municipal tax, 4,000. Donation to NDF, 5,000, municipal tax, 4,000. So these are the inadmissible expenses. I'll add everything. We'll see what is the total. So 10,000 plus 24,000 plus 42,000 plus 10,000 plus 1 lakh 5,500 55,000 5,000 4,000. I got 2 lakh 55, 500. I'll cross check once. 10,000 plus 24,000 plus 42,000 plus 10,000 plus 1 lakh plus 5500, 55,000 and 5,000, 4,000. So I got 2 lakh 55. 500. Now, so I done with this 2,55,500. Then what is the next procedure? The next procedure, procedure is very simple. Less other head income. Other head income. 
other head income. What do you mean by other head income? We'll go for that. Your other head incomes are like rent from agriculture land 20,000. Rent from agricultural land 12,000. After that, we have premium on issue of shares 75,000. Premium on issue of shares 75,000. After that, we have interest on bank. How much? 15,000. Interest on bank 15,000. Then we have capital gain on sale of investment 35,000. Capital gain on sale of investment. So, how much it is? Capital gain on sale of investment, 35,000. Next. After that, rent from building let out, 47,500. Rent from building let out. Let out. How much it is? 47,500. 47,500. In the adjustment, we have like depreciation 45, bad debts 6,000. Depreciation 45,000, bad debts 6,000. Whatever comes under adjustment, every time it comes under other head items only, allowable items only. So these are the things we are supposed to deduct. Now, what is the total here? 12,000 plus 75,000 plus 15,000 plus 35,000, 47, 500, 45,000, 6,000. 2 lakh 35, 500. Yes. Total is 2,35,500. I'll cross check once. 12,000 plus 75,000 plus 15,000 plus 35,000 plus 47,500 plus 45,000 plus 6,000. I got 2,35,500. So what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to subtract then. What here we are supposed to do, we are supposed to add. Now what is your answer? 2,80,000 plus 2,55,500 minus 2,35,500. Your answer is 3 lakh. Now I'll go to your answer. 3 lakh. 2,80,000, the 0. Plus 2,55,500 minus 2,35,500. So how much I got? I got around 3 lakh is your answer. What is this 3 lakh? This 3 lakh we call it as business income. What is the next procedure? Once you're done with your business income, you're supposed to go for what? Yes, you're supposed to go for total income. Income from salary always nil. Income from house property in this they have given. Income from capital gain is there. Income from other source is there. Income from business or profession, 3 lakh. Hope you are clear. Do the total income in the exam also. Now, I'll go back to the, all the slides. You can take screenshot. This is your problem number 9. Your solution part. Solution part. Your solution part. These are your actual solution continuation. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Now we are done with your topic called assessment of company. We will go with a new topic from the next session. Thank you.